Going to be working on the the hands, the guns, and the holsters. Um, I have done some more sanding. The hands are not glued to the guns yet. I just have them stuck together with some some poster tack. Obviously, I've put in the the brass rods for the hands to go into the arms, and the same with the holsters to go into the legs. I've also put in some brass tube for the barrels to make them look a little bit more detailed, a little more realistic. I do need to go in and fill in these holes because I just drilled straight through the holster to be able to put the, the rods in there to line up the holsters to the leg and the positions that I wanted them at on the legs. So I'm going to fill those in and do a little more sanding and then one more coat of primer and then I'll come back and we'll start painting. I'm going to back up a little bit here. Um, I realized that I needed to fill in some space here because the uh, holster was not touching the leg so I went in with some Aves and I filled in all that spot and built it up a little bit on both sides so that now when I do get to the point where I can glue this in here it will be touching the leg and, and it'll look like it's part of the of the pants I also had to go in and remove some of the back of this little strap that goes around here because it was touching her leg so now I just need to uh, do a little bit of sanding on these and then I can prime all those pieces and then I'll come back painting the fingers on the hands there's there's some black gloves but they're fingerless gloves so first thing I gotta do is paint the uh, fingers so what I did was using garage kits dot US colors first thing I sprayed was the light African flesh and now I'm gonna go over it with the pale flesh so I'll do that and then I'll be back after going over it with the pale flesh then I did a light dusting of this garage kit flesh and then after that was dry I went back over with one more dusting of the pale flesh so I have some real subtle highlights and uh, shadows because the guns are going to be in here so I, I want some some darker skin tone there I'll have to hand paint the uh, the glove parts. Now I can move on to the uh, the guns and the holsters. I painted the holsters and the guns with Model Air black. Now I want to uh, take that black and mix a little bit of this Baleo Mecha Color Dark Steel and do a dry brush over top of the guns to try to give it that, that kind of a shiny metal, metallic look the guns have. So let me set that up and then I'll be back. Did the dry brushing on the guns and uh, I like the way they're looking. Um, they got a little bit of sheen on them and they look, they look close to what a real gun looks like. I'm still gonna have to paint the, uh, the butt stock here and then do some things with the little screws and stuff to give it a little bit more punch but it uh, looks good for now I use the same dry brushing technique on the guns on the holsters so it since it's a rounded surface it doesn't pick up edges like it does on the gun and I also did a, a little bit lighter dry brushing but what it does is it kind of gives it that sheen that black leather looks like Unfortunately, when I was doing it, I noticed I still have the, the little holes here where I put the rods through. It didn't show when it was just black, but it does with that sheen on it. So I'm going to have to get some putty and spot putty that and sand it down, repaint everything, just redo the whole uh, two holsters. So I'll do that and then uh, we'll move on. I fixed the holsters so you can see there's not a an indent on there 
got it all smooth and I reprimed it and I repainted and then re dry brushed it. Also went and painted the gloves on the hands. I do have one mistake on one of the hands, I think it's on this one, where I have to go back in with some flesh color and, and straighten up the, the glove part. But overall it, uh, it came out looking pretty good. I think I'm still going to go in and do a, uh, a different color on this black sp spot right here and then these little pads that are on the knuckles. I also need to go and finish the uh, the uh, butt stocks. I haven't I haven't done that yet. But let me uh, let me take the pieces here and, and put it on the body, and then I'll come back. So you can see the uh, with the work I did with the A's on the holsters, it, it attaches to the leg the way I wanted. Like there's there's some sort of connecting thing that similar to what. Um, the holsters look like on Celine and Underworld to where they're they're part of the outfit. There's not a strap or anything. And the uh, the hands with the gloves. So it's it's looking like I see it in my head. So I'm gonna finish the work on these things off camera. So this is going to do it for part five. Part six is going to be the uh, the head work on the face and the hair. So I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you guys for part six.